Hey guys, Backcountry for Life here. So if you're like me and you're an adventure rider, you've probably been wondering how some of these adventure riders have their, their setup with their electronics, their devices, how do they get them charged, uh, what do they use. And I'm not, a, I'm not into carrying around heavy electronic equipment. I don't take drones with me. I don't have laptops or anything. I'm not editing videos on any of my, my trips that I, I make. But to me, it is essential to have power, you know, to be able to charge your cell phone and be able to have a source of power to be able to charge the devices that you need to use. And so I just kind of want to give you a quick tour of how I have things set up on my bike. So first of all, I use this Moscow Moto Nomax bag. I carry all of my, they're not in here, I'll get to them in a minute, but I carry all of my electronics in this pouch right here. All the wires, cords, battery pack, I can fit in these straps right here. So I really like that and it's easy to access. But one thing I don't like is on my bike, the heliport is right there. So as you can see, it's by the ignition, there's power to this heliport, but unfortunately my bag, the strap goes right over it. So it's impossible, impossible for me to put a plug in there. So what I did is I bought a SAE USB dongle, um, piggy tail or whatever you might call them, and I actually routed it from the bike if you could see here, let's see if I can turn up the, the brightness. There we go. Down in here, I connected it. So now I have a two USB power source. And I can use this to charge. I plug that into my phone, which I connect right here. And I just have a USB to a lightning uh, because I have an old iPhone. I don't have a USB-C on my iPhone. It's an old lightning port so I have a USB to lightning port for my phone and let me show you the other sources of power that I I have and use in the different devices that I need to charge so what I really like about the USB adapter that I have on my bike is it's connected right to the battery which is nice because it's direct power offers a lot of power but sometimes you know you're obviously off the bike and you need to charge some devices away from the bike in your tent or a camp and so I carry a portable power bank. This one's from China. I think I got it for 10, 11 bucks. It says 500 watts. I don't know what that technically means. I think it, it provides 30,000 milliamps is what they said. It has two USB outports, a type C import and one of those old um, curved ports that uh, are used to charge the power bank so that's what I use when I'm off the bike or if I, I need to charge any of my devices and I have some small devices that I charge I have this Motorola uh, SOS device that I use I also have this Insta360 that I have on the bike this is a type this requires a type C this requires a type C I have my tiny repeller S which is a mosquito repellent plus a camp light that uses a type C and then I have my that's flex tail this is a flex tail pump to pump up my air pad and that uses a type C the only thing that uses a lightning port is my phone like I said I'm old school so I have an old phone iPhone and uh, I also carry a couple extra cords that I keep in the bag with me so I have an extra USB C um, and up by USB and then I also have one of those curved you know ports to charge this power bank but I also like this little contraption which is a USB to multi port so I have a lightning port a USB C and I have the old school port that I can use to charge multiple devices at once so I could actually charge this this and my phone, if I wanted to, right off of my bike 
using this USB port. Um, and so, and it's also just a backup in case one of these cords stops working or, or breaks, you never know on the trail when you're riding, something happens. I've had one of these cords stop working on me and I lost power before on my trip, which got me thinking I need to invest in a little bit more cords. They don't take up much space and I can either pack it in here, pack it on my bike. Um, so hope you enjoyed this little tutorial of how I pack my items and that might help you as you're trying to decide how to pack your items when you go on your multi-day riding adventures. Take care, be safe, have fun.